Good day, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday live trading session. Let's see what uh, we can trade today. And uh, our Monday recap was a bit, bit successful. We had some very, very good uh, trades going on. Uh, a lot of profits, uh, dollar cad, euro dollar, and let's see if we can make some continuation from uh, Monday recap volatility should be even higher later today because of uh, crude oil inventories data and today we had a uh, ADP so let's see the market the market was not moving a lot and ADP is not like it was uh, five six ten years ago it's totally different it doesn't move market a lot so definitely I wouldn't say that ADP now is high impact news it's more like a standard news precursor for NFP and wage data on Friday. So uh, you always need to be patient. That is what I always say. And uh, by patience, you will actually learn how to make profit. Uh, risk disclaimer explaining all possible risks associated with Forex market. And by accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with it. CFD and Forex trading are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposit, so those are not suitable for everyone. Please ensure that you fully understand the risk involved, and this video is not part of the .co.uk website, but the globaluse.com website. Rules and setups for today's webinar. We use POC zones, master candle setups, wool ways, and price action. Everything you see here is my personal opinion and trade. We will do market or pending orders. We won't do scalping. It's not allowed unless we use it to protect our profit. We will either do position or breakout trading. If we do a setup, great. But if we don't see a setup, then no trade. That is why we can use pending orders. Once you're in a trade, you need to do your own trade and money management. Recommended risk is 0.5 to 1% per trade and do not exceed 2% and you want to trade like professional. Keep in mind that losing is part of the business and you need to keep your risk under control. Don't forget the session recaps are from Monday to Wednesday while pending orders are, val are valid from Wednesday to Friday. Friday is day to take profit so that is why you definitely need to be careful and always follow me on Tarantula FX. And additional information, uh, I will uh, schedule a Monday recap uh, today. So if you if you visited the, if you already visited Amira Markets website, you will see that uh, there is no Monday session recap. That is because I haven't scheduled it yet. So just after I finish with uh, today's webinar with live trading i will schedule uh, a monday session recap for august uh, it seems that i already put the yes for uh, for september but for august we need to put it because i will be trading till 20 uh, till august 25 and yeah you will trade with me i hope so so uh, let's uh, let's get back uh, to our uh, mission today a uh, lot of lot of lot of uh, trading uh, possibilities but uh, definitely now i want to exploit the uh, pound yen pound yen is a very very interesting pair to trade and uh, i love it i enjoy trading pound yen although guys you know pound yen you need to trade it on a little bit higher account uh, if you have low account then you need to be prepared for a lot of lot of uh, movement and uh, you might be stopped out even if your position later turns to be in a profit you might be stopped out because uh, it's a volatile pair and believe me uh, during crude oil inventories it will uh, move a lot uh, questions i will answer just let me show you first the setups then maybe we will do some market orders uh angel is saying uh can i look at gold and gold yes guys i will take a look at gold of, of course but let's let's see our setups first then we will move on uh, to uh gold and other currencies so euro dollar uh 1.1785 should be uh an entry and uh 
if we see an entry during this webinar, I will definitely make an order. Uh, stop loss will be 17.74 at 2 to 3 pips to 5 pips maximum. So stop loss can go around 17.41, 40 maximum. Uh, TP is 1.1150. Uh, TP2 is 1.1910. So we have different setups today. Again, euro dollar is going up and we need to buy euro dollar. And uh, I will wait. As I say, you need to be patient. You need to wait. You cannot just trade because price is going up. You, you press buy button. So trade. Okay, let's see euro dollar. This is euro dollar. And now we see. A nice master candle here uh, that uh, has been broken, but not as a master candle setup, but rather as a standard breakout that went above the master candle high. Now I would also use uh, Camarillas for this, uh, naked Camarillas. And uh, let me refresh Camarillas. And here, guys, you can also see uh, my Camarilla indicator is implying uh, that. Uh, weekly h fork has been broken so the price really has uh, more opportunity to go up later on these camarillas let's stick now to euro dollar one hour chart still you can see that uh, on one hour chart we can see an overlay of uh, camarilla that is weekly h4 so basically one hour is going above weekly h4 what it does what it means it means that price is uptrending and uh, uh, when do we uh, buy when price goes up? We buy when price drops. Uh, I would actually, as I say, I would go for a drop and I would buy a little bit, little bit lower. Uh, I personally uh, would like to see euro dollar around uh, inside this master candle range because inside the range, it's, uh, it, there is a better chance that uh it will be rejected so it won't be a big 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 uh, rejection now the price is uh, 1823 so i would go for a buy around 1785 uh 1785 should be let's move this slider here okay 1785 you see it's it's the bottom of of this uh, master candle range i think this master candle range is protected we have a mini trend line here. We also have a steep trend line there. So I don't need trend lines. I can see this by naked eye, really. I just put the imaginary trend line. I don't need this. So uh, weekly, uh, do you know, do you remember how we traded uh, successfully past week setup? Uh, we went also with naked Camarillas. And now we also see that weekly H3 is here. Price tends to gravitate usually between weekly L3 and weekly H3. But when weekly H3 is broken, we usually see a retest. And then, so we might see a potential retest if price gets there, down there. Also, if you put Fibonacci retracement tool, and we will do it like this, you can see that uh, 61.8 and 50 are actually confluence zones. So this is confluence for me. So maybe I wouldn't go for 1785. I would maybe buy a little bit higher, around 1790, 92. You see five, six pips higher. I mean, it's okay. We, you won't lose anything if you go a little bit earlier in the trade. So I think that we should use the opportunity if we get the opportunity. So uh, yeah, so that is it. I mean, uh, Euro dollar, this is the setup. I can just write uh, that we, I will buy it at 1790. So uh, it doesn't matter a few pips here and there. I really don't mind. So 1790. Uh, stop loss is only uh, 45 pips. Uh, stop loss uh, can be 500 pips, right? What, I, uh, what I've been uh, teaching you, it doesn't matter how big stop loss is, it matters how big your risk is. Because you can uh, basically 
put uh, 1% of risk or 2% or 0 0.5 within the 50 or 550, right? But we try to see the logic in that. I mean, we always try to see the logic in what we trade, so we will put our stop loss there. 17.45, TP is here, TP2 is here. So just use proper risk and it should be fine as always. Let's see, I mean, uh, very, very interesting situation on Euro dollar. Seems like it will go up. Now, pound yen, pound yen, uh, great fair to trade, a lot of movement. If you want to make fast money and you know what you're doing, then you trade pound yen, of course, it's much faster than other pairs. The only problem with this pair is uh, when it comes to ranging market conditions, it can be very, very dangerous. Ranging market conditions imply that pound yen will usually move in a big range. And if you think that it's like Australian dollar of 50 pip range, you're, you're really uh, mistaken. Because pound yen's range is much higher, and some traders might think, okay, this is uptrend, we will buy the dip. Then when they just when they press buy, it starts to go up and then stop short usually around 15, 20 pips, it drops, then makes 20 pips in, in, in the opposite direction. That is why pound yen is a bit volatile, uh, also dangerous to trade, but when it gets to big trend, then definitely is the pair to go and it can make your day. Gulad is saying, made some great pips on your pound yen setup. Indeed, thank you, Gulad. Uh, I'm very, very glad that you traded it. I mean, you know, it's always how we see the pair. Some people, traders will say, don't uh, just uh, use your own logic. Well, I always trust my own guns and uh, I always share this that with you so yes indeed uh, I think that uh, that we should always follow the market and our personal opinion and that is why I'm here to help so this is very 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 outstretched now uh, I think personally that uh, pound yen could use some of retracement but unfortunately we don't see retracement here uh, now the price is still going up the only thing is it broke through daily H5, it retested it and went to weekly H4. Now I will go to uh, naked Camarillas also and let's see what it tells me. If I go to indicators list uh, here and I will actually use here, uh, K, we will go with uh, show trade labels and I will also put show label price because I want to see the exact price here okay so it, it tells us where to go long and where to go short now obviously this has already happened uh, it has already been happening so if you shorted uh, from 146.70 exactly where it said here because this is new trading session you would have made 35 pips. And it was still good because, uh, as I say, uh, pound yen still has some ranging market moving during this day. But again, you see, th this level has been taken. So it was 145.99. So this level was taken. So where I would go long? For that purpose, I would go long here in between we need to see where the price will come. In between 145.76 and 144.99. This is the zone to go long. Uh, why? Because it hasn't been retested yet. You see, it was broken, but there is no retest. There has not been any retest here. Now, this is naked Camarillas. You see, it, it's very clear. But don't look at this, because it already happened. Your first short was here. And this short was profitable, you see? Possible 57 pips. But price went up. Then another short kicked in at 146.69. So this has already happened, you see? 30, 34 pip rejection, straight from the top. Now, I, I'm watching Camarillas, and I say, if the price gets in the zone, 
this is for naked camera trading a level to go long because this is this should be a retest trade breakout retest right continuation goes here from the poc point of view so here the zone is mark it down 145.76 to 145.99 let's say 146 so around 146 and and slightly below we have the zone by naked camarilla but also this is our poc zone first of all you can make an inner trend line here you see this is inner trend line if you know and if you follow my if you follow my price action training school you know that uh, inner trend lines can be very powerful so this is an inner trend line okay this inner trend line has has been broken so until this point this was normal trend line inner trend line became when normal trend line was broken and now we sh should see some retest. Of course, that is what I think the price should logically do, right? A retest. Retest again. According to Camarilla MACD and uh, method, this is the POC zone. Again, it's very, very close to naked Camarilla. So now I have double confirmation, right? That uh, even by naked Camarilla here, we could see a retest rate. Because this short has already happened, and it 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 went in profit. So I think that if the price doesn't break these highs to the upside, it could go down. If it breaks this high, this could be, of course, either a breakout buy trade, like a scalp trade, and eventually this is where you can place small shorts, at least for scalp trade. This because this is weekly H5 is definitely the last level this is the last level to go short and this is the last level to put in because here you have a stop loss so this is the zone to go definitely short not long so i'm not saying that it won't go down that you should go short now uh, i i would tell you go short only if we traded this previous four hour candle but because it stopped here and we see buyers I say let's see whether it will break go up or it will go down if it pulls back here we have also confirmation so i will go long uh Eggers is asking tomorrow will be boe bank of england trade decision i guess pound yen set up is valid in this meeting yes until the boe pound yen will be valid but after or just before that please do not trade it because technicals cannot fight with fundamentals at the same time so when boe kicks in we don't put a technical we, we need to wait for the price to calm down and then assess technical analysis because during the meeting it will be very volatile you will see there i'm, I'm sure that there should be big volatility so that is why the setup is valid until the boe and also don't forget that you can trade here uh, easily if it happens i mean easily don't get me wrong i will trade this but i want to see a pullback if we get this trade during this webinar great if not well then i i might still wait for crude oil and if something happens and it drops the price of pound yen i will go long so set up for pound yen oh this is typo again let me correct this i need to correct this now just give me a few seconds so 145 point 90 stop loss is 145.40 tp is 147.50 possible so you need to of course uh, protect your profit if uh, we if we are in profits you always need to protect your profit before volatility before volatile events okay 
So this is the setup for a cell. Why does it tell cell? It didn't I didn't change it. By 145.90. So it's a buy trade, of course. Not a sell, rather a buy trade. And here, let's see. This is. This should be it now. Correct slide. Mm -hmm. So you see, 50 pip stop loss. How big is the risk? Guys, think about it. I could have made 500 pips stop loss, right? It, it depends on your account. Whatever you do, this is a stop loss. I recommend 1% of risk. So you need to calculate how much is 1% with 50 pips stop loss. That is the point of trading. It's not how much you are willing to make. It's about how much you are willing to lose. Some, someone would say, okay, Nana, I want higher profit. Then I would say, okay, but then you don't put 1% of risk. You want higher profit. You go with 3, 4, 5% of risk. You can put 50% of risk, guys, right? It's up to you. But I teach you how to keep your account. Of course, if you're playing with lower account, hundred, two hundred dollars or whatever, and you want to gamble or you like, you know, you like to trade, you, you can afford here and then to lose that, well, then you can go with, of course, high risk. I personally have a lot of trader friends who just open thousand, two thousand dollar account and they don't mind losing it in a two in a single day or to trade because you know they have money and they enjoy trading but when they win they also win big so you know it's, it's up to you how you will treat it i would say go of course if you have higher account if you're not in, very greedy then try to go with lower risk or if you test your strategies and you still want to make some money well this is how i trade this is how i go uh, i show you set up this is what I will trade, definitely. But, you know, I, I really want to see price going down. You see now how our pivot point is still being respected weekly. I, I'm telling you, weekly Camarillas on four-hour time frame are very, 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 very generous. <laughs> it can be very generous, especially here when we divide these trades into scales like uh, these shorts. So this, you see, this is... Again, the price is going down, and I presume the price will go down because of the less than, let's say, the ADP was not that good. And originally, I think algos, algo traders, uh, got it wrong because pound yen went up. Uh, there was a revision of ADP, but still ADP numbers were not that good. So I think uh, pound yen, dollar yen, they are dropping. Although dollar yen has some retracement you see but now again it's going down uh let's see now if we get into a market order but i don't see that price is moving that much uh one more possible opportunity guys for you is this short here uh i think here you see that where it says first short this is now for naked camarillas this is for swing traders one, two, three, four, five short. And TPs are here. But this is just for swing traders, guys. Okay? Because swing traders, let's say they add, let's say that this trade can afford 2% of risk. So we add 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, right? So we just add positions. We keep stop loss slightly higher. And if the price drops, it will be huge. But for intraday trading, uh, again, we can take a look at these naked Camarillas and see where the price is heading. Dollar yen. What is the range of dollar yen? Check this ATR indicator that I've been sharing with you. So this is it. 100 then. Okay, no, no. This is, I know that something is wrong. Yeah, 87. Price is now 7. So this is a, still in some sort of range. Right? The price is not moving much. It's higher than. Let's say 
maybe a month ago, but still it's not like, you see, it's not much. Because of that, I can assume that the price is ranging. And because the ATR has already been very close to its maximum peak, I assume that if the price gets here, this is no brainer sell for me. Of course, the only thing and the problem that I see with this setup is crude oil inventory that are due in an hour and 20 minutes. So that is the only problem. If we didn't, if we, if we didn't have crude oil inventories today, I would say naked trade, blind, blind trade. Okay, so still I'm contemplating if the price gets here, just by technical analysis, it should go down because this is the range, see? And it's trapped be, 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 between L3 and H. Now, if you went long here at this point, these are weekly pivots, guys. Don't forget, weekly pivots change only during the week, uh, once per week. So here, this was the long setup. 80 possible pips for the week. Long setup. See? Swing traders maybe have added a position here also. Because our Camarilla perfectly fits here. So that is why I'm saying you need to keep track on everything. This is price action. I'm using CCI because it tells me when the price is over, bought and oversold. Now you see pound yen is dropping. By the time it gets here, the price will have already been oversold. Right? I, I know, I mean, that is <laughs> my observation because I'm following the price and I know how it behaves. But uh, <laughs> for people and traders who are watching this webinar and who are not very experienced, CCI is a good indicator to show you overbought and oversold level. And this CCI I made like when it's like, Thick blue, or let's say this is deep blue, then it's overbought. When it's red, it's oversold. This in between is no man's land. Okay? Uh, just let me reply. Okay. Okay, here it is. Uh, the question, uh, call or CCI, send me an email and I will, guys, for all questions, for all questions, just send me an email. If you want the indicators, whatever, send me an email. RanchulaFX at gmail.com. Uh, next question is, okay, now it's dropping. So let's see, maybe it will give us some. I mean, but the retracement and possibly pips. I'm waiting for this to buy here, and uh, yeah, I think I would go long, but I would place market order right away if the price gets here. Let's see. Still, low grind is better. See how it's excellent. Again, you see, it's it's. it's I will add this just to see where the pivot point and L1, L2 levels are. L1 and L2 are added to this indicator and they actually show a little bit of more action for a breakout trader. This is weekly Camarilla, 145.64 you see. But yet again, this is, you see, these are Okay, these are L1 and L2 levels. Here, this is, this corresponds, you see, to L1. Oh, this is very strong. Another confirmation for me that this level has a strong confluence. See? L1, and this is L2, weekly L2 here, and Camarilla. 
So yeah, this level has nice confluence indeed. Now if we just switch to H1, let me check something. Just want to make sure. Yes, L1, you see, 77, uh, H1, sorry, and L1 is here. Camarillas are there. Excellent. So one more confirmation for me to go long here. Let's wait. Uh, next question is, can I take a look at New Zealand yen? New Zealand yen. Okay. Let's see. New Zealand yen, New Zealand yen. Let's wait. Wow. This is going down. And again, naked Camarillas, without any other thing, has showed a possible long here. First long was here, and it was good. It was good for 40 pips. Not bad, considering that the range is not high. Then second long for swing also went up for some 12 pips. Then the third long went up for some 25 pips. And it seems like we are close to getting a support here. Let me just check something. Yes, this is support. Uh, on this template, yeah, th this, is, this is now counter trend, guys. So for all of you who are watching New Zealand Yen, you see this could be a long trade here with good risk to reward because it's a counter trend and we have a lot of historical buyers here see a lot of historical buyers here and here definitely we have a long confirmation from the indicator with 81.63 it's L4 81.61 so guys this is counter trend possibility here we look at trend possibility for trend trade we need to watch some confluence this is order block so we have order block here one two three order blocks and you see it was not just a coincidence that the price rejected here i have personally noticed that uh, 70 percent even more rejections can happen just by order block. But here you see, we had weekly L4, order block. Now I'm not sure why it doesn't show up again. It's always, it needs always to be there, exponential. 80, 89. You see it's going down. The slope is down. So definitely this is downtrend. And uh, here, if we put a Fibonacci retracement tool from the top to the bottom, You see, 38.2, order blocks, weekly L4, bearish, very bearish. Previous days were bearish. ECS boxes show you that. So definitely, definitely great, 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 great setups for New Zealand and whoever traded this. But I say also watch for possible counter trend because now this is where price historically rejected. It's close to final swing position, monthly L4. Guys, monthly levels are very strong. Okay, so if this keeps going, it should be rejected here. And still it's in downtrend, but it should go possibly retesting weekly L4. Now a few questions. I don't see that, I'm not sure that we will get into you see now this is good this is looking good pound yen is dropping guys it's dropping this is looking good but yet again uh, oh it's not just because it's dropping we need to see a clear confirmation that it gets into the poc zone and then we can trade it so uh, yeah definitely let's wait if we, if it gets there uh, uh, Question about Australian dollar. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did the analysis today. 
on uh, Australian dollar. And uh, here I said it should provide continuation. But continuation, guys, should happen exactly here. Okay, so you see? This is the POC zone but, and continuation. Now, this is a little bit slower pair, and I intentionally analyzed and presented you with slow moving pair simply because uh, today's price action will be very, very volatile, and some traders would prefer maybe to trade a little bit calmer markets, such as Australian dollar, uh, just to keep their account safe. So, yeah, Australian dollar here, uh, 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 you see it's still within the POC zone, uh, but let me just take a look at something. Yes, it could go maybe, it was over, oversold, and this was confirmation to go up. Now it's trying to go up from Australian dollar. Ah, Richard is saying he is already in New Zealand yen. POC is the key. Indeed, the POC is the key. Richard, yes. Hmm? And uh, Australian dollar, well, it's trying to reject. And there is no breakout setup unless this guy here, I mean, this previous master candle low has been taken out. See master candle low here, 79.73. Then it might go more to the upside. Uh, okay, next question. Next question is, uh, can you take a look at gold? Yes, for Gullet and uh, especially Angel. Here, uh, gold. This looks like head and shoulders, but uh, in the same time, this looks like it's reversing. So I would say this is definitely the zone to go long, even this one here. See, this is a strong zone, but for downside, you need to, it needs to break. It's very clear. Let me just add this. I want to see something. I want to see the exact levels and I will tell you. Okay, here. Exactly. If it breaks this confluence, this confluence of a trend line and daily L4, 12.62.47, you see? It should go down towards weekly L3, 26.99. If it breaks this, then it goes down. Again, just naked Camarillas got it perfect because if you went long here, you see how Camarillas tells you 50% of possible trades. Very, very good. And especially on H4, it tends to respect weekly levels. And for intraday traders, it also shows you a lot of things. So here we have a confluence. Definitely, I know this by my naked eye. I don't need to have indicators, but just to see 50% of Fibonacci, uh, trend line, uh, daily L3, ATR pivot point, and order block. These are order blocks. Always very important. You see how trading is not that hard when you know what to look at. <laughs> Well, guys, that is really a dedication. I, I've dedicated so many hours, I mean, I would say hours in years to the market and totally dedicated. If you read my latest interview, this is who I am. This is what I love to do and what I really am enjoying and, and also sharing with you. Uh, Euro yen. Euro yen. Here, Euro yen trade possible let's see if there yeah i'm not sure that this is uh now it's rejecting guys this is rejecting you see it's, it's trying to reject 
it, 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 it rejected from weekly H3. Watch how many times. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is awesome. Watch this. Weekly H3, weekly L3. Usually the best trades are found between weekly L3 and weekly H3. Here, weekly L3, weekly H3. Watch this. Bam, to the upside. Wow, almost to the pip. Perfect. Then downside. Then it broke up. Okay, look at this. A retest. Oh, it went to monthly H3. So now what it can happen, it can come here to retest 130.81 because it's monthly H1. This is my monthly H3. But if it breaks it, I expect this low to be retested. So pay attention. It will be the retest of this if it breaks this low. Or if it breaks this low, 130.73, it should go up. Possible bounce. But it, it, it is stretched. It is a bit stretched. Don't forget, here is order block. So indeed, if this could reject from this region. Still, I'm saying yen pairs are always connected to equities. That is why you need to watch for crude oil inventories data. Yes, a little bit lower here could be a possible buy trade. Agils, please send me an email and I will reply because now let's focus on more questions. Uh, dollar cat, dollar cat. Okay. Let's see dollar cat. I want to see where did I place dollar cat. Here, dollar cat. Let's switch to H. Similar thing. It didn't go to L3, but it broke to weekly H1. H1 and L1 are levels that are usually broken during the single session. And H1 and L1 are levels that are usually traded during London session. Because when price opens, it will, if it breaks above or below, that will be a signal for a potential continuation. Then you see it, it rejected from H3. Again, power of Camarilla. Watch this. 30 pip projection straight to H1. Now, pin bar straight from H1 above H3. Clearly bullish. Then H4 broke retest. This is bullish and this is retracement now. So what I expect is we need to go to Definitely, I think it could reject from this level. 25, 96, 90, it could reject. Because it's already rejected. See? Let's see if it will keep it, but it's already rejected for 45 pips. From intraday point of view, we need to go with the trend, guys. So this is still downtrend. You see? A big, big, big stretch down. Wow. Huge, right? So this guy is taken out. This is order block. Okay? This is bullish order block but we cannot go like when the pair goes up and we buy it we, we, we are not looking at order block now to buy the price so i'm just saying we need to sell so we need to watch for bearish order block bearish order block is a couple of pips away here you see bearish order block so this is this was bullish but now we see we are looking at bearish because we want to sell first bearish order block rejected it next bearish order block is here so, if we put a Fibonacci from this part here to this part here, okay, guys, now you see, I didn't prepare this. I didn't cherry pick anything. This is your questions, and I'm answering. <laughs> Watch, 61.8. Watch here, even better, 78.6. So, dollar cat, trend trade, short. 26.42, okay, 26.42, but watch for crude oil, guys. Crude oil data can spoil technical analysis. Now, if, if we are clearly trading technical setup, guys, this is short. 26.42, 78.6 here, order block bearish, ATR high, daily H5, weekly H5 will be overshot. 
very clear to me. Okay? Very, very clear. So yes, this is dollar CAD indeed. Uh, and possible counter trend again, if it retests this level, but uh, through Doyle data, it, it, it could move. If it if dollar CAD starts to drop, watch for this one, 24, 60, 63. It could drop a lot, but only if it breaks this 25, 20. So first level to watch is here, 30 to 20, or there. If it goes above 2597, uh, I think it has the potential to go to 2640. So now I told you everything. Uh, that will depend on crude oil, because now dollar CAD is waiting for crude oil inventory. Don't forget that CAD is connected to oil, and dollar CAD reacts on, on crude oil heavily. Use volatility protection settings also. And if you're afraid of volatility, uh, then a few more questions. And I think that was it. We didn't get any market order because price didn't pull back towards our entries. You see, it's not a lot of movement. And it can happen, guys, when price, when market is waiting for something and it's waiting for crude oil. Chadian. Well, similar situation. It is sold on sold on rallies. Most prominent order block is here, but now it's being rejected. Let's see. This is also order block three, four. Uh, oh, this could go short here, eighty-eight sixty, and New Zealand dollar. Wow, this is heavy. And look at this. This could be a swing, possible long now, 74, 17, possible long swing. Confluence here. We have buyers. We have historical buyers. And for swing traders, add here, add here, put stop loss there. These are your targets. So this could go up, indeed. Yeah. This is 88.6, I would say. Not just a coincidence, guys. You see? Yeah, I think it could go up. Okay, guys. So that was it. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, let's see what crude oil data will give us. So uh, we have two possible setups that I uh, officially made and some unofficial setups that you asked for. What I explained, I hope that you learned something, not just blindly trade this. I want you to learn why i'm doing this guys this is completely unique way to trade price action believe me guys you won't be you won't be finding anywhere similar on the internet this is my creation this is how i do so that is why i'm saying learn from this what i'm showing you also okay thank you guys thanks goran thanks Kesselhoff, uh, jose kuled uh, angel and everyone guys i like you i like uh, when i'm here with you. I enjoy these live trading webinars. And above all, we need to learn to be patient. So when we have market order, we enter. If we don't see market order, we are patient. We are preserving the capital. Sometimes not having a position equals to having a profitable position. Be patient. Thank you guys. I wish you the best for the rest of the week. Let's see if some of the setups will be in profit. I uh, and I wish you to trade safe guys. Cheers, everyone. Bye for now.